Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we are going to be taking a look at Esper Multiverse. What deadly new diseases can you pick up by sitting down? Toilet seat terror. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Commonly Good MTG. I am your host, a man so awesome, my chest hair has recently been declared a national heritage site, Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. You are too kind. Yukon Socket. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my, say it with me, secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck off of the Platinum Mythic list over at Magic GG. Uh, they don't have titles there, so I just titled myself. I called it Esper Multiverse. Esper Multiverse. Why? Well, because Esper is a title that we use from Shards of Alara that indicates white, black, and blue well multiverse just because it's a cool word that's on this card which is a cool card and that urza is going nuts look at that he's just going nuts with the multiverse all right so let's take a look at the cards in this deck we'll try to figure out how it works and then we'll take it out and as we do crush people's hopes and dreams it this moment we got soul partition which temporarily sets things aside makes them pay more for it Make disappears a counter spell. There's another counter spell right there. This one allows you to uh, draw two cards, two lives, and get rid of two cards. So it helps you to uh, sort of mill through your library a little bit faster, which is good because we want to discard our big cards. Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, one multiverse, city escape leveler, and portal Phyrexia. Throw those in the graveyard because repair and recharge will go and get them and bring them back at a much cheaper rate than what those things are going to cost you. These are egregiously costly. Uh, Restoration Ian Ganjo will also help you throw away cards, give you a white mana land, and give you a dude who's a pretty decent balker and attacker early on. Uh, Counterspell, this one will kill destroyed target non-land permits, and they cannot counter it. This one uh, gives you a mana of any color and then potentially like draws you a card each turn. It's a great little engine. One Ring Emperor sneaks out with the ninja kill and exiles target tap creature, otherwise she puts out samurais. This one destroys people two, mat two points at a time every time they draw a card. Gives you life every time you draw a card. This thing brings back Planeswalkers, enchantments, or artifacts, not creatures. That's something that uh, messed me over. Plus, gives you a Power Stone. And, of course, this guy is an awesome attacker at 7. He'll be a 7-7. Seven, seven. If they want to do some sort of target to him, they'll have to take 7 life to do it. Otherwise, he gives you seven points of lifelink every turn, which is fantastic. One with the multiverse. Let's talk about this card for a second. It's an enchantment. You can look at the top card of your library any time. You may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library at any time, right? If you get the mana for it. But then also, once during each of your turns, you may cast a spell from your hand or the top of your library without playing its mana cost. Without paying the mana cost, you can just play something for zero. So yeah, the, the deal here would be throw these things in the graveyard, probably have something in your hand, use this to get back one with Multiverse, and that way you can, for five, get this set out and put one of these other guys out for free. That is a great little three-card combo that works for five mana. That's it. I see Cityscape Leveler destroys something every turn, and Portal of Phyrexia kills three of his, your opponent's dudes. And then after that, you just keep pulling guys out of anybody's graveyard back into the battlefield on your control. Under your control. Lots of great mana, including some pain lands. Ugh. All right, so that's the deal. It's like counter, counter, go through your deck, throw stuff into the graveyard, use this to get it back, bring back the pain, and go to town on them. Let's go see if we can make this thing work. We're playing against Babish. One, two, three.
keep. Alright, so technically I gotta try to get Faithful, or one with the universe, into the graveyard. So that when we get the recharge, we can bring it back for five. Because paying eight for that is a lot. And there's our repair and recharge. Cool. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. All right, there's three. Let's go ahead and get up to four. Oh, is that my turn? Yikes. Let's swamp up. That's five, right? Let's go ahead and bring him back. Of course, I got nothing to do. He is going to race me. Yeah, that's fantastic. And we kill. We exile like nobody's ever been exiled before. Shouldred's worst enemy, Wandering Emperor. Okay, now remind me on his turn, I want to faithfully min. You still got it in me? I think I do. Sweet Jesus, what's up with the lands, people? Uh, two cards, one and two. Anything in here worth bringing back? Not a thing. Wow, this thing's just gonna die. This is put out a dude. And we win. Yeah, probably because he got bored. All right, put against Drymex. Oh, uh, let's see. One, two, three. Let's keep it. Turn off the goblin. And put out some white. All right, we have the ability now to make disappear, as one does. Suck it. Go grab ourselves a planes. Nothing here is coming back in the right way. I don't really need four. I guess I do now. I'll decline.
you try to counter me, counterman. You go throw that fight. Uh, you're sort of hiding, my guy. That's just rude. Anything good in the graveyard? Not really. All right, I cannot counterspell anything. Got three mana. He wants four. I got one more trick. Looks a lot like that. Woot woot. All right, now I just gotta get things in the graveyard. Nothing really worth doing right there. All right, cause me to discard or something. Because these cards are supposed to go get these cards. They don't do me any good when they're in my hand. We got six. No, five. I think he wants to counterspell stuff. That's that's the thing that's so disappointing. Ooh, he didn't wipe the board. You just gotta go against them, that's all. Oh yeah, he's going after the Architect. Oh, this guy lets me discard a card. All right, excellent. Next turn I can actually discard something. All right, come on. I got I got a plan. I got things to do. You're not going to like... You're going to counter my stuff, though. That's the problem. Yeah, I'm going to take that action. Sure. All right, you go in the graveyard. Does he have anything good? Not a darn thing.
Let's give that up. And play this for a cycle. Yeah, Kian. Oh, I knew it was coming. I saw it coming there the whole time. All right, who am I looking for at this point? Lesh Gorger, that'd be great. Shouldred, yep. That's what that guy's been looking for this whole time. Uh, I got nothing. Do you think? Oh, there's a flesh quarter. How? Anything in here worth bringing back? Nope. We just got to clear the top a little bit here. Not getting anything I'm going for. He's got the two. There's a land. Oh, dang it. This deck is fighting me so big right now. There's nothing to pull back. Might as well put this out. Why not, right? He's not playing any creatures. I'm not playing enough creatures, apparently. There's his creature. You don't have anything else to play. That's my creature now. Winner, winner, victory dinner. Sweet Jesus. And we're playing against Master Shake. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. One, two, three, let's keep it. Nothing we can play for one, so we're going out slow. <laughs> All right, let's faithfully mend. Ooh, what are we going to do? Discard two cards, one, and even Ganjo, possibly. Yeah, let's do that. I don't necessarily need to put a Pangland out. Let's uh, restore some Ian Ganjo there. Land. I'm doing well, but I just am not getting anything in substance at the moment. I'm sure the deck will provide. Wow. What a piece of crap. I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, I brought it back. How super. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go faithfully mend. All right, that just makes things harder. Well, we can definitely make things harder. Uh, we do need the black, so I'll put that out. And we'll go ahead and cast this on the Surge Engine. 
The Seedles we can fetch back. Gotta get rid of two cards. Those are the two. What do we got here anyway? Three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more mana. We can play one with multiverse. Somehow we have to protect our one with the multiverse from ourselves. That's not cool. I created a dude. All right, tell you what, let's, uh, all right, we go. I think that's the gambit. Repair recharge brings back multiverse, which allows us to play portal of Phyrexia. I just got five lands, six lands. He's got enough for the Topiary Stomper. <coughs> All right. Let's go be evil. Here it goes. Evil, evil, evil. I'm going to go be evil. That's what he chose. All right, good for you, my friend. Who am I bringing back, by the way? Not you, I can't play you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That'd be a good guy to bring back. How dare you? I was going to bring dudes back. Ah, uh, counter target spell. Let's go faithfully mend. All right, there's our pal right there. Cost us zero. No tax, in turn. Come at me, bra. Oh, I have to do this on my turn. Okay, well, whatever. I can still pay for it. Don't care. I gotta kill myself a Titan. And then your heart drops as you feel the Wandering Emperor's gaze look upon you. blocks that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do all right let's just punch this guy up uh, we'll punch up Sergio there uh, that's not gonna do us any good that's not gonna do us any good Done. Take the action. That's the guy I want. All right, so uh, Celestis is one we'll get rid of. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I got enough to cast this straight up. Can I cast that now? Nope, really not.
You gonna bum? Oh, that's not good. Okay, you bum rush me. Trample, trample. Let's decline. We'll play this right here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and play this one. Let me get rid of number three here real quick here. We'll play this one for four. We're going to kill Exile Boy. Right there. Rachel didn't give us a play. We play this for zero. Wipe in the board. And we win. <laughs> Suck it, suckerfish. Suck it. So you're playing against what is this? Z Frishma? Z Fishma? Z Fishma? One, two, three. Keep. Got one duel, a lot of blue. And against Mono Red again, apparently. One. So at four, I could jump out and kill him with that. That's a long way to go, though. All right, here is two. Let's go for it, people. Mending, auto pay. We're gonna get rid of one. Two. I felt like that last move was everything I possibly needed. I still got a lot of mana to build before I can start playing things. Because we need five to be able to get back the one with the multiverse so we can play Portal of Phyrexia. And I've only got four at the moment. But even just to get the three out for this, I've got to play this and then that. And then on the next turn, I can play Void Man. That's a lot of blades on the Forsaken Thresher. Alright, so what I really need is a mana on this next turn. So let's say the mana chant. Mana, 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 mana. Mana, 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 mana. Come on, you can do it. Mana, 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 mana. Come on, pass the rock, yo. Pass the rock. Not mana. Ugh.
Yeah, everything I got going on is all dependent upon that next mana. And it has to be... No, I got white right there. That's fine. It has to be anything. All right, Z. You know what you need to do? Just do it. I'm going to turn out your lights. They're not going to like it. You'll be like, oh, I'm scared of the dark. Oh, no. What is happening to poor me? And I'll be like, ah, ha your lights are out. Yo. Lockhead. <laughs> Look at me. I am squishing your head, you square head. Come on in, Jelly Bean. I got people to kill, and their names are you. Even the timer says you're taking too much time. All right, come on, mana, mana, mana. All right, we're going to repair and charge, bring that guy back. Uh, I gotta go for a Seize Cable Leveler is what I'm thinking. This will get rid of three of them, but they'll pick the little three, and then I'll have nothing. I'll just be asked to the wind. At least this way I'll have a big butt. All right, there we go. Now I got a big butt. And he is glorious. What am I looking at mana-wise here? One, two, three, four, five, six out of nine. I really don't, I don't think we're going to get these. Oh, no, I could play these out of my hand. Yeah, one with the multiverse. It just says, you can play whatever you want to whenever you want to, man. It's totally cool. What is it costing this? X? Yeah, he only has one. That's cool. We'll have to take that thing out first. goes well it looks like we're gonna have a problem with that all right well number one let's show this out was zero and two little dudes and a rabbit battery would be my guess All right, in, in. I'm giving it way up, though. I got 10 life. Uh, let me take it out here. This guy. That didn't really work out well, did it? 
Okay, you want to try to kill the Cityscape Leveler? No. I see a portal of Phyrexia in my future. Don't care. You gonna come at me, brah? This guy's trying. I mean, what is this? It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm probably dead. See, that's three. And what do I got? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I can pull it off though. Oh, I gained two life for the deal. There we go. I can have two of them. That's fantastic. I right, put that out and let's uh, put out a. Let's make you a little bit stronger there. All right, things are looking much better for us at this point. In Ganjo, seat of the Empire. It's going to help me against any hasty dudes. I gotta say, I would have given up well before this. Playing against the multiverse? That's ridiculous. You got three cards and a running board. Mech or Titan? Oh, that's too bad. And that's it. Give it up. Give it up, yo. There we go. Give it up for Z Frishma. Victory! We're playing against OH3. One, two, three. Let's keep it. Can soul partition somebody into oblivion. Watch out for that ball, it looks awfully spiky. How you doing, C3PO? You're all right, you're all right. Everything's fine. I don't like the way things hovered there. He's got something in his hand. It's an instant resource, an instant, I should say. He's just gonna kill it straight out. Good for him. What am I missing out on? I'm gonna get a white, but let's just pick a blue this time. And a white. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. If I have to pay for the seascape level the hard way, I'm going to be pissed. Lap your mandibles there. Is 
and you're counting mana like a sucker. Uh, nothing really to bring back at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, here's seven and eight. Yeah, this, this deck has a weird way of like not being able to pay for itself. Like you got plenty of things that are low, but you need to have stuff in the graveyard and plenty of things that are high that you can't pay for. Yet you can't get them into your graveyard. It's a weird mix. I mean, there's plenty of cards to throw things in my graveyard, yet they like to hide. It's Faithful Mending, Celestis. I guess those are the things we're looking to get out to help uh, grease the wheels here. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna put out this card, and then we shall cycle, pull another land. And there's that faithful mending. All right. Okay. Discard two cards. Number one, number two. All right. Now we got things right where we want them to be. There's Titania again. And they give up. That's what happens when awesomeness comes to the table. Victory! All right, so here we are with Esper Multiverse, Multiverse, and uh, it was a it was a really good deck. It just that's all there is to it. Um, so, like I said, I did find this on the Platinum Mythic list, which you know, obviously, it's going to be competitive. And uh, I, you know, I've seen Repair and Recharge a lot in out there. I just don't think I've played it. I think I played it once a while back ago wasn't in this same way i did not play it with one with the multiverse i haven't played with multiverse once i always just kind of forget what it does i know it's expensive i know it's awesome i know you need to kill it as soon as possible but uh being able to use this to go get that that makes everything else like cost absolutely nothing that is fantastic synergy right there fantastic uh let's see so if i had to complain about anything is this deck had this weird behavior of getting out a lot of mana, but not enough to actually play the things in this line right here. Seven through nine mana, right? I'd get like, you know, like six, sometimes seven, right? And I wouldn't have the flush quarter, but I couldn't play any of this stuff. And there would be nothing in the graveyard that Repair and Recharge could go get. And that's what blew. It's like, I have a bunch of these like little things or whatever. And it's like, yeah, I can waste this to go bring back a restoration of being Ganjo. So what? I mean, once I was kind of playing Wandering Emperor a little bit, even then that made me feel like kind of kind of icky inside. Like, that's not really worth it. I got some bombs. Let's go play them. But I couldn't get to them. And this deck liked to dance right into that middle ground where you couldn't do anything. So um, I, I, I would normally say this deck needs some work, except for it came off the Platinum Mythic list. So obviously it is what is considered good. Uh, so in my plays, I have a 63% win rate with it, which is a good number. I don't know. It's a good deck, and I felt it. When it did go well, it did very well. Um, when it decided to fight against you and provide you with, like, nothing but land, yeah, that sucked. That sucked. Is this deck competitive? Yes, it is definitely competitive. Is this deck fun? Most of the time, it is totally fun. 
Um, it had two counter spells in it. That made me feel bad to myself, but eh, I played them. I played them. Lastly, was this deck interesting? And absolutely it was because Repair and Recharge gives you a little Graveyard Recursion. Graveyard Recursion is excellent. And especially when you can pull back one with the Multiverse, Flesh Gorgeous, Cityscape Leveler, Portal of Phyrexia, all great. All great. And there really is a lot of opportunity to throw things in the graveyard. Uh, Celestis does it. What else does? Restoration of Ian Gonjo. Uh, uh, Faithful Mending. Yes, yeah, sometimes I felt like I had a really hard time getting to those cards. There's plenty going on. It's just that, you know, that's the thing about magic cards. You shuffle your deck and all the stuff you actually need could be at the bottom. And you're just left with a bunch of stuff that doesn't work together. Hopefully you got a good balance, but this card liked to fight me. It, it Sometimes it's like it had a mind of its own. I'm not sure. So anyways, this deck is competitive, interesting, and fun, which makes it an A-plus deck, forcing me to tell you that this deck is so choice, I would highly recommend you pick one up if you have the means. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, screw you guys, I'm going home. Bye.